There we go. Two birds, one stone for training in cat. All right. So I'm going to ask Ro. Sit. She's 13 and has arthritis. This is, yes. Yep. Good job. Oh, sorry. All right. So I'm going to ask her to stay. She doesn't know stay. We've never really worked on this. So I'm going to ask her, put my hand up, I'm going to stand up, sit back down, yes, and treat. Or click. It just takes her a while because old. So I'm going to stand up. I'm going to step one side, feet back together, yes. So stay, remember, means I come back to you. It doesn't mean... I'm going to walk away and call you out of it yet. That's a more advanced maneuver. Um, that's something that we'll do in, in later classes. Or if you do agility, you might tell the dog to stay, walk away, and call them to you. I want to make sure that my, my dogs and cat know that stay means, for now, I always come back. And so I'm going to ask her to stay. Take one step away. Yes. And treat. Ran out of keys. That's okay. Just close the door and keep him out there, please. I did. Okay. Can you go out with him so he's got a buddy? Touch. He's out in um, the living room. Okay. Well, I need you to sit over there and it can let me teach, and then I will hang out with you when I'm done. Okay. In the room. I'm gonna move her over here a little bit just to make this easier to see. Sit. Sit. Maybe take a step or two back. Yes. So I'm going to see if I can start to move a little bit more. You might hear thunder. I just saw a flash of lightning. Sit. And I'm not going to use the word stay until I can bet my mortgage that she'll be able to hold that position while I walk away. And again, I, I have a great advantage in that this cat is really slow. So I'm able to see the moment in her face that she's going to move and then she has to prepare her body to move to break the position. Your younger dogs, you're going to have to work a lot faster to see or at least become more attuned to that moment where they're going to break that position and get back to them before they physically break that position. Roman, stay and see if I can come around the corner. Yes and treat. So I can maybe even open a door so I can kind of go behind it. Ace, can you please move? Thank you. Hide for a second. Yes. So what I'm really doing is I'm reinforcing this place. I'm not really reinforcing, yes, I'm reinforcing stay, the idea that you don't move. But I'm really reinforcing, don't move from this spot. And then I can move her to another spot and reinforce that spot. And the more places that she's put, and I reinforce that idea of stay, the better she's going to understand the idea of, oh, stay means don't move wherever I am in space, as opposed to stay means stay if I'm sitting in this part of the kitchen or of the bedroom. Um, but it doesn't mean the same thing in the kitchen. So I need to take this to other places and have her do it in other places around the house. Um, so maybe I'll put her up on that little ottoman there or up on the bed. Um, or I would maybe switch positions with her. So maybe I would make her move. And because I've been working stay with her just now, she's like, why should I touch your hand? <laughs> so you might see that too with your dogs when you're doing stay that they, they've been reinforced so much for stay that they might, oh, there she goes. So you see how she moved where she didn't before in that other place. And it's only two feet. It's not that far. But for her, that position in that spot in my, in my bedroom is the spot that was reinforced. So now I have to reinforce this spot until she gets the idea that this is a global uh, concept that when I ask for stay anywhere, it literally means anywhere. <laughs> Rowie. So, so even just moving my foot, this position is harder. So maybe I'll just move my foot a little bit. Yes. 
Maybe I'll move my other foot. I feel like I'm about to do the time warp. All right. The Macarena, anything? All right, Rowie, stay. Maybe I take a full step, but I, I'm keeping my eyes on her this time. And that seemed to reinforce, don't move. And again, my feet, she's always being rewarded when my giant feet are right in front of her. That's the position I want her to look forward to. Rowie. Yes. And then I would go the other way. So I'm going to reinforce one spot for a while, move her a couple feet and try that, move her to another place, try that, then try the bathroom, then try the kitchen. Stay again is conceptually the hardest thing that we work on because everything else that we do with our dogs and cat is you do a thing when I give you a signal and then you just do that thing and we always look the same. So if I ask for a sit, my body, my hand is almost always up like this. I'm usually leaning into the animal. The word is there and the behavior, once the dog gives it, they usually get a reinforcement or they get another command. So sit, stay, sit down, sit, touch, whatever the thing is. But for stay, because everything about it means don't do a thing, don't move. It's so much harder to reinforce. It's almost impossible to reinforce a don't do this thing, which is why don't bark doesn't work, <laughs> which is why leave it, why I teach it to actively move their head away. I'm marking for movement instead of the absence of movement where they're staring at the tree. Okay, now I get it. I don't want that to be the thing that I'm reinforcing. I always want to reinforce an action. And the thing that makes stay so hard is that it's really hard to find a thing that's so consistent with stay because I might be opening a door, I might be tying my shoe, I might be walking four feet back, I might be asking for it outside or in a car. I ask for it often when I'm on the other side of my glass door and I don't want Captain to jump on me. I might have to ask for a stay behind a barrier. All of these things are different variables that you have to proof, that you have to work through, but once they get it, they're like, oh, it's that thing where I just don't move until you tell me it's okay. And that's why stay on its face is one of the harder um, b basic behaviors to really solidify and get right. Um, because when, we're, when we teach it in a basic class, we tend to just go like this, stay. And we walk back. And then we walk back to the dog and we're like, yes. And then we can't figure out why they can't do it everywhere. <laughs> because we're not saying stay, and then we walk like a normal person to open a door and then come back, because that looks very different than the way that we tend to train it when we're working on our own. Like what we, we keep a lot of forward pressure and we stare at them. Um, and that's so not how we move in the real world. You start here, but then you fade all of that. You start to walk like a normal human, <laughs> and then they should get the idea. But you have, this one is just so hard because it does take a lot of time and a lot of patience. But then once they've done it, that's the equivalent of a, a dog shaking off, like I showed you earlier. Like she just goes to lick herself. So I'm going to let her just kind of go follow some food and do something here. Um, actually, I can give her a snuffle mat. Here, we'll put it all in here. She's never used this like this before. It's usually the dog's toy, so. All right. So hopefully... That gives you guys some ideas. Um